This is tutorial number two on the echo effects with Audacity. Um, someone has emailed me and says they can't add the echo effects on the ends of the track. So um, zoom out and you see if you want to add an echo effect on the end here, say starting from here, you can't do it because the track is going to end there it's going the track is going to end there's no track in other words there's no there's nothing there at the end to um put the echo effect on now i'm being very blunt here i don't know if this is the correct way to do it but this is the only way i can get it configured uh, figured out is by clicking on the record button but remain silent for about 10 or 15 seconds you'll have to cover up your microphone so I'm going to click on record and I'm going to remain silent for about 10 seconds. So please wait. I'm going to click on record button now. Okay. Right, there's a the recording what you've just made. Uh, there's nothing recorded on it. It's quiet. And the next thing to do, we've got to add it to the ends of this track here so select that recording what you've just made you can just drag and drop uh, I like uh, the gray means it's been uh, selected just drag and drop use the drag and drop method this way or I'll just click on this uh, window here to select it just click it just click anywhere in this box and that will select the recording and then go to edit and click copy and then click anywhere on the end of your track here just uh, zoom out use your zoom out and click anywhere on the end of your track here it doesn't matter where because when you paste it it's going to snap it on the end of your other um, uh, your audio file and then go to edit and click paste okay and there it is I'll just uh, and you can see that track there what we've just um, added and now you can add the echo effect so select the port where you want the uh, echo effect to start say here for example and then hold down left mouse and drag to the end and then go to effects, echo, um, choose the delay time. I'm going to type in uh, 0.5, which is half a second, meaning it's going to repeat every half a second over and over again. Um, give it some, uh, give it some volume with the decay factor. I think that's what it means. I'm just going to type in 0.9 and click OK. And there you've got your echo at the end. Okay, okay. Let's see what it sounds like. This is um, this record is a whole lot of loving by Led Zeppelin, if you know it, which I'm sure you do. So uh, let's listen to it. I have to put my microphone next to the speakers because uh, I cannot in the world get this goddamn Camtasia to record in stereo mix. So I have to put my microphone next to the speaker. Okay, so here it goes. I'll just give it a bit of volume, it's not loud enough that, you'll not be able to hear it. Okay, and that's the only way I can get it um, uh, figured out. Uh, I don't know the proper way. I'll try and find out. If I do, I'll post another tutorial on YouTube. Um, other things you can do with your um, uh, recording is fade in and fade out. So select your recording, go to effect, and click um, fade in. Fade in means it's going to go from loud volume, uh, from quiet to loud. So click on fade in 
and you can see it's going to start off quiet and then gradually get louder okay and the um, the fade out means um, it's going to, at the end of your track it's going to go from loud volume and it's going to fade out uh, to low volume so click on fade out and you can see it's going to go from from loud to quiet at the end of your track um, I'm not sure what this um, crossfade in crossfade out means it seems to do the same thing to me anyway if you're going to if you want to add an echo effect to, to your re recording when you're singing it into the mic it's best to um, when you're finished singing is keep recording but remain silent for about 15 seconds so you can add um, an echo effect on the back okay right okay I hope you understand all that see you later bye